This is a presentation by Dr. Alemi about activity-based costing of electronic health records. In this presentation, I show you how cost allocations are made. The most reliable place to start activity-based costing of electronic health records is with the chart of accounts. The accounting department of any organization organizes all transactions into a series of separate categories within the general ledger. These items provide a readily available source of data to start activity-based costing. The expenses tied to information systems are usually found under expense accounts. The capital costs are usually found under asset accounts. Here are some examples of asset accounts. In any ledger, there are literally hundreds of assets categories. These range from furniture to building to land assets and many others. There are many different categories for expense accounts. A handful are presented here. These range from taxes to laundry expenses. These include the expenses for the legal department. The big items are salaries and wages, but all items matter. The allocation of cost of operating an organization to an electronic health record is based on several activities. Some items, for example licenses for information systems, do not require any allocation at all. 100% of these costs are allocated to the cost of operating an electronic health record. Other items require a method of dividing the cost between general organizational cost units and the Office of Information Systems or the electronic health record within the Office of Information Systems. Rent, for example, is allocated based on space used by each one of the offices. Wages and salaries can be allocated based on the time the person has spent in activities related to information systems. For senior management, it is not easy to understand how their time fits various costs under the organization. The cost of management may be allocated proportional to the budget of the unit. Not all items are in the chart of accounts. Donated buildings and volunteers are allocated based on market rates. The point is that all costs in chart of account, including the opportunity cost of donated buildings and volunteers, are allocated to Office of Information Systems and eventually to the electronic health record. An example can demonstrate how the cost of personnel is allocated. One category is management. Let us suppose that the total yearly cost of management in the entire organization is $1 million. If the Office of Information Systems is 10% of the budget of the organization, then $100,000 of management cost is allocated to this office. If the electronic health record is 50% of the expenses within the Office of Information Systems, then the portion of management cost allocated to the electronic health record is $50,000. Now we look at clinicians. If these costs are $10 million, then these costs are allocated by the percentage of time that clinicians spend their time working on information systems. This could be training time, or time in committees, or various other aspects of input that clinicians have provided to the information systems. The activities of clinicians decide how much of the 10 million is allocated to the cost of running electronic health records. Some staff, for example computer programmers, are hired in the information office and therefore 100% of their cost is allocated to the office. Others spend a proportion of their time in the information office and that portion is allocated. The point is that the activity of the staff is used to allocate the cost to the electronic health record. Cost of some items are complicated by depreciation strategies. There are many different depreciation strategies available. 
One way to simplify these costs is to ignore accounting costs and use market rates if the building was rented. The square footage of the building is measured and the cost of renting office space in the locality is used to estimate the monthly cost of the building. This method of allocation of cost not only simplifies the calculation but also allows calculation of costs donate of donated buildings. The cost of volunteers can be estimated based on only rate for labor, as if they were hired. In this manner, the true cost of operating the electronic health record is estimated. The take-home lesson is simple. The total cost of each account in the ledger is allocated to various units within the Office of Information. Then costs are further allocated to operating the electronic health record. The basis of these allocations are usually activities of the personnel, but sometimes other factors such as square footage or total budget of the unit may be used to make the allocation.